<laughs> For the second uh, day 20 Halloween movie, it is Blade, the 1998 Marvel movie Vampire Bloodbath starring Wesley Snipes as Blade, the vampire hunting daywalker who hunts vampires and is trying to get revenge on who killed his wife, not wife, mother, his mother. And he gets teams up and he helps a doctor and his friends with a with Whistler. And he is and he is like I said, hunting vampires, mainly Deacon Frost. And Quinn who he who got his hands cut off twice before getting his head cut off at the final battle. And this movie is a lot of fun. I really had a fun time watching the movie. Uh, first of all, important to know that this movie is con we can all agree that this movie is considered as the start of superhero movies because at that time, superhero movies were kind of downhill. Aside from Superman, Superman Two, Batman and Batman Returns, superhero movies have been bad. Like like. Robocop 3, uh, Punisher 1989, Captain America movies, before Chris Evans, uh, Batman and Robin, Batman Forever, Steel, Spawn, and of course, Roger Corman's unreleased Fantastic Four movie. And with this one, before the MCU, X-Men and Toby Spider-Man movies, Blade was the official start that kicked off the modern day superhero movies. And this was a great start. Because this movie is filled with a very amount of great action sequences. It has good choreography, martial arts style. With all the vampires and Wesley Snipes kicking their butts. And killing them in bloody ways. Like The main thing I want to talk about is how bloody the movie is. It's bloodier than I imagined. It's bloodier than any more movie. More than Punisher Warzone. There are three moments that are so bloody, like one vampire gets killed by being blocked by the sun and his geese burning and has a lot of bloody moments in his body. Then Whistler gets beat up bloodily and he is bloodily wounded before shooting himself off screen, which is very sad. And when Deacon Frost gets exploded to death, it's so bloody, especially why he's about to explode. Like this movie is very bloody. As well as the one where Blade was getting bloodied off during the uh door thing where the vampire's getting blood and Deacon Frost gets his powers at the end. And it has some good music for that's not how it fully is, but something like that. A rock and roll of music that matches the tone of the film. Wesley's nice did an amazing job as Blade. Like, Blade is one of the coolest Marvel characters of all time. Very unique. And I really like how silent but deadly he is as an anti hero fighting vampires. Like, this movie's really cool. And. Of course, the way he fights the vampires, like I said, is very awesome, especially when he was. Slashing and dicing and kicking them as well. And of course the movie, like I said, not blood, not, I didn't say that, but it's blood, still bloody. But the, also, it's from the beginning, it's bloody. The mo because the movie opens with vampires having a bloodbath. And Wesley Snipes p poops the party by killing all of, most of them. All, all of them. Except for Quinn, who lives until the very, till the end. Of course, there are sequels as well, and there's a coming MCU movie, as well as a TV series that came out in 2006, but I've not seen any of them. And I feel concerned about the reboot since it has been delayed a lot. But, yeah. So I really like this Blade movie. I really like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's very cool. Great start to, Mar to what modern movies, Marvel movies are. And yeah, I had a great time. So that is it for day 20 Marvel Mo Marvel Halloween countdown. Because I also watched Loki's episode 3. So peace out. Bye.